Hello everyone, this is Ria Ketty from Online University Courses back with lecture 2 on some of the interesting histories regarding the immunology and the journey of immunology towards modern immunology. Okay, before stepping into this session, let's recall what we have already discussed in the lecture 1. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos. And in last session, we have discussed some important histories and the contribution towards post-pasture era of immunology. Such as the birth of the concept of immunology with the written evidence by Thucydides. And later or after 2000 years, this concept of immunology or immunity converted into medical practices. And it was done by Chinese and Turks and they named this technique as variolation and later uh, Mary Woodley Monda uh, used this technique uh, in her own children and this technique was popular. After that we have seen the discoveries of Edward Jenner towards uh, smallpox and Robert Koch towards anthracis and he found Robert Koch found the bacillus anthracis which is the positive agent for anthrax. Okay, Louis Pasteur, the great pioneer in the history of immunology and he is known as the father of immunology. So, his work was that in the year of 1880, he started his work with chicken cholera or fall cholera. He identified the positive organism or the bacteria which is responsible for the cholera, chicken cholera. Okay, and he injected this uh, bacteria into a group of or some fresh chicken and all the chicken were dead. After this, he and his colleague went for a long vacation and the experiment, uh, experiment was paused. And after coming back, they resumed the experiment with the same or old bacterial culture and what happened at this time they were surprised because all the chicken uh, they injected again this uh, bacterial culture into you know, fresh chicken and all the chicken at the second time they were ill initially but they recovered and pastor was and colleague was surprised later uh, then they grew some new or fresh culture of the same bacteria and uh, their plan was to um, inject this bacterial culture into fresh chicken but uh, unfortunately uh, the supply of the fresh chicken was not much and they used a mixture of both um, already injected or already exposed to chicken and a group of fresh fresh chicken. So what happened? The group fresh culture of bacteria and as the supply of fresh chicken was limited, use he used mixture of, mixture of previously injected and, uh, and fresh chicken. Okay, clear. What happened? Previously exposed chicken was protected from the disease but all the fresh chicken or newly injected chicken were died so he after the this experiment his hypothesis was aging of the bacterial culture may weaken or had weakened the virulence of the bacteria or pathogen and if we are or if such attenuated, attenuated means weakened, attenuated strains of the bacteria uh, if administrated into a uh, organism, the, it can provide immunity. This was his uh, conclusion or hypothesis and he called this attenuated strain as vaccine. Okay. This weakened strain which has the ability to provide immunity. He called this attenuated 
strain as vaccine. Okay, and uh, what is the meaning of vaccine or vaca? Vaca means cow. Okay, and this naming was in the corner of Edward Jenner's work with cowpox for the uh, protection of um, chicken box. Clear. This figure is the classic experiment of Pasteur with chicken cholera. Let's have a look. The first uh, test tube shows or the test tube is with the aged bacterial culture which when injected to normal healthy chicken the disease was not a cost or the hand were safe from the disease. And the second test tube it is with a fresh bacterial culture and when injected to fresh chicken what happened the chicken died and when injected to previously exposed chicken what happened they were immune to the disease and live chicken okay they lived this was the classic experiment of pasture clear after the success of the vaccination uh, for chicken cholera, he extended, uh, Pasteur extended his work to other, uh, other diseases such as anthrax and uh, rabies. In the year of 1881, he first vaccinated a group of sheep and the story was also success. Okay, then uh, in the 1885, he first administrated a human with the attenuated rabies virus or the vaccine and uh, who was uh, whose name was Joseph Mister and he was uh, bitten by a rabbit dog clear and he was safe and uh, his uh, rabies virus could not attack him or could not produce diseases uh, disease rabies disease in him because of this vaccination this was a great success in the history of immunology itself clear now we can go to the discoveries of Emil von Behren and Shiva Saburo Pitasato okay so it was a, they uh, were uh, done this experiment in the year of 1890 and they discovered the antitoxin for diphtheria and tetanus and what was their demonstration they demonstrated that serum from the blood that means pale yellow color fluid present in the uh, blood is called serum that serum have the ability to uh, look immunize animal or transfer immunity from a immunized animal to another in unimmunized animal clear what was their experiment they first of all uh, Emil von Beherin and Shiba Sabro Kitasato they inactivated some diphtheria toxoid and injected to animal one okay a healthy animal or guinea pig and they collected the um, healthy animal uh, uh, show some illness but they recovered and they isolated what the serum okay the serum of this animal or the serum from the blood of this animal and injected to an another second guinea pig or second animal what happened the animal was a devour of um, disease that means they lied okay then they also Kitasato and Bahrain um, injected this second animal with virulent diphtheria toxin then also what happened the animal lived but when they injected this virulent diphtheria toxin into healthy animal what happened the animal died this was the experiment that showed the serum have the ability to transfer immunity from the immunized animal into an immunized animal clear and this we called as humoral immunity 
Later in the year of 1883, Elie Maknikov uh, discovered uh, some cells that have the capacity to ingest the uh, invaded microorganism or foreign body. And he named those white blood cells called phagocytes. Clear? Those, he observed some white blood cells that have the ability to engulf the uh, microorganism first and digest that or kill the microorganism and he um, named that cells as, as the phagocytes and he hypothesized that these cells are the main cause for the uh, immunity in human being or living organism clear no? in the animals and he introduced the concept of the cell mediated immunity. We already learned that in 1890, Kitasato and Beharin uh, identified or discovered that the uh, serum have the ability to transfer immunity from an immunized animal into an unimmunized animal. And later in the year of 1930, uh, who Elvin Cabot eh? uh, many years later Elvin Cabot showed gamma globulin fracture in serum serum okay was responsible for the immunity clear and these molecules are called antibodies as we know today mm? antibodies are responsible for the immunity we learned and we know it but this was said or identified by whom Elvin Cabot. The antibody are present in the serum. Okay. And this antibodies in the body fluid or humor. All in this uh, the blood was called as humor. Clear. And are responsible for humoral immunity. Clear. And Bruce Lee, he was a scientist who demonstrated uh, by using chicken that uh, two types of lymphocytes are the which are participating in the uh, immune activity. Clear, they are T lymphocyte and B lymphocyte. T lymphocyte which are derived from thymus and B lymphocyte are from Bursa of Fabricius, which are seen in the chicken. Clear. And these two lymphocytes work intertwined or together in a manner, together means intertwined manner for the immune response of a living animal or human being. Clear. This was the uh, identification by Bruce Gleek. Clear. Carl Lenz Jenner in 1868 to 1943 he demonstrated that the cause for the blood agglutination. Okay. He demonstrated that cause of the agglutination of blood. Agglutination of blood to be an immunological reaction. Because of the immunological reaction, the blood is clotting. He demonstrated it and it occurred because, occur because antibodies are produced by the host against donated blood cell. When a human donate blood to another person, a chance of Protection of antibody against this uh, donated blood. This is a foreign blood to the uh, individual, isn't it? So, in order to um, or resist this um, donated blood, the body itself produces some antibodies. And this results in the coagulation or agglutination of blood. Clear? This work may it possible to demonstrate blood growth or blood type and pave the way for blood transfusions so safely. Okay, the 
safety the blood transfusion uh, must be carried safely isn't it so this was by Carl Lenzschneider who demonstrated the possibility of agglutination clear I think all that we have discussed today is clear for you and thank you for watching my video please subscribe to our channel comment like and press the bell icon in order to get notification about our latest update and stay tuned thank you